these type of activities, especially when you're dealing with topics to what, what we deal with, with culture, ethnicity, skin color, race, it's kind of personal. Those are kind of personal things. With some of them, uh, we did an activity this week with being with things that are just and unjust. The day after that activity in the classroom, they were like, "Hey, that's not fair. Hey, that's that's fair." And, I'm, and it was really good to see them use at least using that language. The whole purpose of Arts in Action was to address an issue that we saw throughout our community with our participants. Before the pandemic, we had uh, about 360 participants at four locations. And a lot of our participants are dealing with issues that involved race and ethnicity, and they just didn't have the language to fully understand or fully explain what they were going through. It is necessary because a lot of kids only see like what goes on in the news. This program that we're trying to do here gives uh, inside of everything and doesn't like sugarcoat anything like that so they get a better idea of what, what's happening in the world. People with less fancy houses still deserve police protection. It's useful and important for our students to one have these conversations in a safe space that way if they were to encounter having these uh, conversations elsewhere they would be equipped to have them. You don't need to have police protection. It doesn't matter if your house is not fancy. We had to teach the kids that just because you see it on TV or on the cartoon that a superhero is dark skinned doesn't mean that he's always the bad one. That's different to hear because we never had to, I know when I was younger in school, those were ideas that were never brought up to us. So developing that sense of self gives you a place to grow from. You're not trying to convince yourself that it's okay to be you. We're, now you're in a place where you're celebrating. We're looking at Play-Doh colors, we're looking at the color of our skin, we're looking at our features on our body, our faces, our hair. We would ask the kids, do you see people that look like you in movies? Some of them are surprised that it's not a lot of people that look like them. It's important to share because it makes um, me and others learn about my culture. Because that's my color. Yeah. Do you see yourself in those people? Do you have things in common? We're noticing that we don't always have to have the same texture in here, but we all each have something that is unique for us. When you operate with that lens of I don't see color and everybody's the same, you're robbing individuals and communities from their experiences. Even though some people are different from you, you should always love yourself. We also did another activity. Um, we were talking about race and culture and the difference between um, how you identify ethnically and racially. There's so much fear around identifying skin tone, um, especially in a classroom setting. You're able to associate your skin tone with things that you already have a positive connection to. It's not a scary thing anymore. The school community that we're in is very diverse. So a lot of the kids are multiracial. Some of the kids, they were really confused but about how they should identify, but then they were encouraged, like, that's okay. Everybody dresses different, everybody's different sizes. Doesn't mean that they're different. That's what makes the world the world and brings everybody together. Mm -hmm.